today is a sad, sad day. This is a sad, sad day. This is the last time that the Accord's ever gonna look like this. It's kind of a bittersweet moment, but at the same time, it sucks. Um, I've had these wheels for almost a year and a half now. I got them weak spec, and then I built them to the spec that they are. It's nothing crazy, but it's like, anything you put money into, there's, there's always gonna be sentimental value that goes into it and everything. But it's time. It's time for the next setup. And the next setup is going to be this setup. Cause this setup, I kinda slapped this together, you may say. I already have the wheels. Um, well, I don't have the wheels. Uh, a buddy of mine is holding on to them for me very gratefully. As soon as these sold, sell, and I get the money in my hand, I already hit them up. I let them know. I said, I'm coming straight to you with the cash because he's been holding on to them since uh, November, I think. So I think it's time we cash them out. Those that I do um, are actually dream wheels of mine. I need to be getting my hands on like my childhood dream wheels. And when I mean childhood dream wheels, I mean when I was 10, 12 years old, however, whatever age I was, going on the computer at my grandparents' house and just sitting on there for hours searching world's lowest this, world's lowest that, um, and seeing what videos I could find on anything just laid out. And then I came across three-piece wheels and everything. And um, yeah, the when I f first started to get into like three-piece wheels, this set of wheels that I'm gonna get next is literally my dream set which means if we're changing the wheels the colors changing as well fulfilling marsh's childhood dreams all in one dream wheels with the dream color it's gonna go crazy let's get these wheels off and start getting them taken apart And just like that, we are off. Time to get these tires off and uh, get these fully rebuilt. So what I'm gonna be doing to these is the faces right now are top mount. Um, so they're 10 wide. I'm gonna put them in between the lip and the barrel and make it a sandwich mount. And then it's gonna be the full six and six and a half inch lip. So technically right now, what you saw was a five and a half and a six inch lip, but these are actually six and six and a half. And then I'm gonna be putting 225 40s on, all around on these um, instead of the 215 40s. Since it's gonna be going on like a no camber setup, uh, this amount of stretch will be perfect for the car that is going on. Next setup, 100% is gonna be this low. Yeah, they're like, but that's the height that you're at now. No, no. That's like this much lower. Okay? This much lower. I need to be that much lower. Actually, I want to sit lower than this, just to be completely honest. I want to chop some of my side skirts. I'd like to be like this much, like, lower all around. And just like that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. 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 I'll split. And I don't have a tire machine, but I got a lift. Use the lift, push down the tire. Use a good old pick with a hammer. Bing, 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 bing. Pop it right off. Take the tire off. 
Done, look at that. So now, clean these all up and get these ready to be sandwich mounted instead of top mount. So I will uh, get back with y'all once we uh, get this all cleaned up. So they're all now rebuilt to full size. Now you see the big lips. Now these wheels look big. But yeah, now you see instead of the wheels sitting on top, it's now in the, in the middle. Torque to spec, ready to go. Time to lay some sealant right here. Lay a pass, run it down. Run one more pass, lay it down. Done, see ya, adios. Let it cure for 24 hours, slap the tire on them. And then they're out of here. These shits go crazy. Damn, I knew if I had, I had a chrome barrels. Oh, I forgot to tell ya. When you torque your wheels, um, look it up. Every wheel is a little different, but they're in between 21 and 25 pound, foot pounds, depending on which wheel you have. Some are 21, some are 23, some are 25. These are 23, so these are all set to 23, and that's really it. So, you know, just check your torque specs on your wheels, and that's really it. Um, I normally use black silicone, but we only have white today, but it's the same thing. I had it for some project. I don't know why I had white, but this is the same stuff I use, but in black, uh, it'll do the job. It'll get it done because it's the same thing, just a different color. So you're never going to see this. So let's get it done and uh, get them go. Now we just sit and wait. Yo, these wheels are crazy full size. Too bad I couldn't fit them full size. Uh, no, honestly, what it was with these wheels was the disc sizes was too big. These are mid and high disc. So um, I needed the face to bring the wheel in a lot more uh, than what it did, but it's all good. Well, that's it for today. That was all. Getting the wheels off, getting them Ready to be sold. And then this is how the car is going to sit. Going to sit like this for probably, hopefully, the beginning of next week. Wheel company told me that they should be here May 1st, which is May 1st. Wheel company said they should be here March 1st, which is Friday. Um, I don't really believe that because they told me they were supposed to be here on the 21st. So we went from the 21st to the 1st. Uh, so I have a feeling that they'll be here mm, next week. I have the tires already. The tires came in like three weeks ago. So um, I've just been waiting on the wheels. I already let Koi know, hey, um, I'm going to bring my tires and I did. So my tires are literally just sitting at Koi. I told him the same day my wheels come, I'm bringing them and I'm dropping them up. It was a good run with those wheels. I'm gonna miss them. But on to bigger and better things. And then back into the daily we go. My guy Montro. My guy Montro. My guy Montro. Great daily. Great daily. I love this thing. Only thing I don't like about it, the tints. I can't do the windshield tint. I must have gotten old in my... I must have gotten old in my old age. But it's weird because I have the truck windshield tinted. So I guess since it's like, I'm assuming that since like the windshield's a lot smaller on this, that's probably why it's like that. I'm gonna end this one here, guys. Y'all already know, man. Y'all already know. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn on the notification bells. Do it all of it. Do it all. Okay, if you're new here, thank you. I love you. Have you been here for years? Thank you. I love you. I love everybody. I want to spread love, joy, and prosperity to all. That's it. That's it. But on that note, we out of here. Um, I forgot to do a motivational speech for yesterday, so... Um, Always strive for greatness even when things aren't going your way. Because you never know when in the snap of a finger things can easily turn around. And things go both ways. You can be going great and in a snap of a finger things can go terribly wrong. So always stay humble, be grateful for what you have, and 
Just keep pushing forward, moving forward, and making things happen each and every single day. Have a good one, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.